welcome back to math for french cars what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing injector seals and a rocker cover gasket seal um, the reason i want to do it is as you can see around one injector is really dirty and that's a sign that the seal the injector seal is gone so i do need to replace it because if i don't replace it if i delay it if i leave it what's going to happen next is going to be diesel starting to come through the side of the injector little choo-choo sound and it's just going to get worse and worse there's no escape from it you have to once you see the signs of injector seal gone you have to take it apart and replace it so let's crack on okay so the first thing you want to do you want to undo your battery you're going to work with injectors if you're not gonna take your connectors off your battery you're gonna have a fault related to injectors as injectors gonna need to be disconnected so i'm just undoing my connectors from my battery next thing is if you have a cover on it on the engine engine cover then you just literally take it from both sides and lift it up and remove the engine cover i don't have a top of engine cover so i'm just gonna crack on and carry on doing what i'm doing um what i'm gonna be doing next is i'm gonna be using um five millimeter uh hex key to undo these little bolts hex bolts here and one more is in here a little bit hidden right once your hex bolts has been removed what we're going to be doing next we're going to disconnect the injectors So you just press the clip and push it towards yourself. These ones are gonna need a some of them are gonna need a flat screwdriver here. Lift the thing up and push the connector off. Oop. Okay, same thing gonna be here. Make the connector, push it off. And my last one has been secured with some something because the it's a bit broken. I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, that's all done now. So my connector can come off. You also want to disconnect your mass airflow sensor connector okay so all your connectors are off now now what you can do is just take this all and just move it to the side here nice and easy next thing you want to do is you want to take this low thing here i'm gonna move it a little bit as well just out of the way, not too much. Another thing to do now, it's a little, little clips. You can use a flat screwdriver, whatever. Little clips have to come off the top of injectors. They are securing uh, fuel return pipes, leak off pipes which in this case is in the top of the injector and one last one is just literally here what you can do now is just pull leak of connectors out of their place 
just like this okay so all your leak up connectors has now been disconnected from your injectors they're just gonna go somewhere here on the side and rest right so what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be removing this little bit here so that I easier could remove rocker cover gasket and to do that I'm gonna have to untight this intercooler hose and just pull it off a little bit and then I'm left with this bit I have these bolts here which is size 13 this is not original bolts you're gonna have to have a look what exactly you have you don't need to touch this side you only need to undo this side and remove the bolt and in a minute you'll see why to remove that bolt now what we're going to be able to do is just going to be able to take this one off like that and what we're going to be doing next we're going to be doing undoing all eight millimeter bolts around the rocker cover gasket so i'm going to try to position my camera so you could see a little bit better hope you can see oh, weather is not getting better it's getting worse the police are gonna start to rain in a minute well, I'll do my best to actually pull this off in less than an hour Show you how it's done and get my car running. Okay, okay. now you're gonna have one more bolt here, really shit place. As you can see One more here One is left there, it's hard to reach it, so we're just gonna try to take it out together with a rocket cover. Literally move it in that motion. Alright, so what you want to do next is just move your air box a little bit to the side, as I've done it. And then, see, your rocket cover is nice and loose. Oh. Okay, just oiling my camera badly. I hope you can see well. Um, in some cases, I would just pull off from turbo and then just move the whole air intake to the side. Your air intake might be in a better condition than mine, so you will have th these clips holding onto another clips on our on our intake manifold. I don't have that. This engine is now 230,000 miles, still going strong with a little issues like that. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite pleased with it. But some things I buy now is missing. Right, so I'm gonna try to get that bolt out because that seems to be the only thing which is stopping me from getting onto my work. Here we go, that's the bolt. I'm gonna put it aside. And now I can just literally take my rocker cover and just leave it somewhere on the side. I'm not gonna need it for now. I do have a brand new rocket co rocker cover gasket and we will put a brand new rocker cover gasket on the rocker cover once the injectors are done. 
right so what you left now is this beautiful view here and what you want to do at the moment is just put something clean some clean cloth on to the place where you can see your camshafts or well, one camshaft now we're going to be disconnecting our fuel supply to our injectors okay so disconnect the fuel supply to injector you just have to undo this 14 millimeter nut okay so one is undone we're gonna crack on do the rest of them okay so that's the second one yeah. Oops. i'm being a bit too strong on it i see right once it's undone a little bit normally you can undo it by hand okay so that has been undone another thing we have two more left so i'm gonna just untie both of these lock my camera off again as you do it looks really horrible around the injector looks like it's been leaking for a while a seal that's not the oil, just the diesel. Okay. So all of mine, all of mine. So all of my fuel supply lines to my injectors has now been undone. And what I want to do next is literally take these fuel supply lines back them off a little bit a tiny bit not too much just a little bit just back them off a little bit they're not gonna break you just back them off a little bit they'll be absolutely fine what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna be taking out the injectors okay so what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be removing injector. To remove injector, I'm using this CRV7 hex tool. And there's a two little nuts holding injector in place on each side. So you have to undo them. Okay. I'm just undoing them. To make sure we're fully undone and I can just grab them with something so I wouldn't lose them. You see, that's why I put a cloth. You never know. This thing could have ended up near my camshaft, and then to take that out, that would be a headache. A headache which we don't need. Okay, so now I'm gonna use something like this to literally pick up every single one of them nuts and just put them somewhere in a safety. Oops. I should be used to working with one hand and filming with another one right now. Still sometimes find it a bit difficult. Okay. 
why is that one not coming off? That's a good question. Because well, it's not done fully. It's undone now. That's another one. It's going to be eight altogether. Okay, so one side is undone and taken off. Another side is the same exact thing. Just to take them look not kind of tightening bolts but nuts and take them off here we go this is not the best place to put your nuts to be honest your windscreen might be contaminated with oil or diesel or whatever trying to keep it on the shelf whatever because I'm doing it all in a rush today I have only one hour to do it because I have to literally go pick someone up from school so I'm just trying my best to do it quick and carry on with my daily routine alright now this is the pure luck thing you are gonna have to remove these injectors so now because you have taken off your rocket cover it's a bit you have more a bit more space to play with oh hello so this one came out beautiful and it also came out with a injector seal on it so that's win-win that's one one nil one nil that's one nil for me i win that's the second one Hope they all come out with injector seals. Yeah, it came out with injector seal. Beautiful, that's what you want. Oh, it's dirty. So, so dirty. It's crazy. Another one. Now we're gonna try to. Oh, I just hope they all come. Oh, bloody hell. I don't even know what this is. One second. Yeah, injector seal is here. So that's win win again. So three out of four came out with injector seal, which is amazing. Because another headache you have, bloody hell, this is soaked in God knows what. Okay, so all four have came out with injector seals. I'll show you in a second now. Let me just tidy up, bloody hell, this is horrible. I didn't expect it to be that bad. Right, so that's our injectors. As you can see the state of it is a bit hmm it's still done the job absolutely fine don't get me wrong but the state of it is crazy the good thing is you all came out with injector seals on them what that means to me is going to save me a ton of time trying to take them little injector seals out of these little holes so what i want to do next is i want to tidy these injectors up first and then we're going to crack on all right so i have tidied up my injectors tiny bit as you can see they're starting to look a little bit more like injectors should look what i'm gonna need to do now is just tidy up all this rubbish space with all this diesel and stuff like that so i'm gonna put something here again some cloth or something this is a bit oil is a bit oily but at least like bits is not gonna go into my oil and contaminate it so i'm just gonna do this and i'm gonna use another cloth and literally just tidy up all this space now and I'll see you after that right my guys so what we're gonna need to do next is when you have injector holes there's a seal make sure put something here again make sure there's always something there okay because these guys they love to go away fall off somewhere and as you can see here what I'm doing now I hope you can see I am moving a seal which was around the injector hole these seals I'll show you now looks looks like this okay I'm sorry you didn't see this one you missed this one I'm gonna show you on another one okay injector hole a little seal black seal around it okay what you want to do you want to move that seal a little bit pushing it on one side a little bit what it does it lifts the other side you can just pick it up like this and take it off and now the last one for me okay come on buddy doesn't really want to go this 
one is a bit stubborn. Okay, we will get there anyway. Here you go, that's the last one. So you remove these black seals around the injector holes and your injector holes, well, they should look like this, just a little bit cleaner because I'm doing everything on a hurry today. So I don't have time, but I will tidy up before installing a new ones. Right, let's crack on. Right, my guys, so I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to install these little new seals onto the place where it should be you take i'm taking seven millimeter socket but i'm not using this end i'm using this end i push it on i'm pushing this little seal onto the socket just like this and what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna be placing hope you can see well i'm gonna be placing a socket here onto the thing and then using my flat screwdriver i'm just gonna land it nicely into position i'm gonna nicely land it into the place now where it's supposed to be and when i remove my when i remove my socket as you can see the seal sits nicely as it should be i hope you can see i'm sorry if my filming today is not that great but that's the new seal in I'm going to do the same thing with the other seal and I'm going to try to show you better now. Literally take a socket, this end, I'm pushing on here. Okay, like this. And now I'm going to land that socket here in a position. Alright, I'm going to push that seal off the socket nicely into the place. Because otherwise it's very hard to, to put it on properly. But this is the best way to do it I ever found and it's nice and quick and that's what we need in this situation as well nice and quick job you see sometimes the side comes off which is not how it should be I'm gonna have to take it off again and do it one more time it happens don't get frustrated with things if cars something always goes wrong sometimes that's just how it goes right one side and the second side this side and i'm gonna try to do a bit in the back as well let's hope now is on properly now is on properly that's how it should be beautiful that's how you want it to be okay so i hope you, you saw this one so I have still one more to do here, I'll show you. Same procedure. No thing on a socket. Okay, here we go, it's on a socket. Alright. So now what you wanna do, I'm gonna try to show the camera how you can see. I'm landing a socket there. It stays nicely like this. What I'm doing, I'm just pushing the seal into its position nicely while holding a socket. Okay. This one again doesn't want to be nicely landed. If it doesn't work, I'll just grab it again. try to do it again it's not, sometimes it doesn't happen over the first time but nevertheless it's fine okay let's have a look now can we manage to land it one two I'm just pushing on the side as much as I have space trying to land it proper yeah, it's proper landed now. That's beautiful. So we have one more to go. It's gonna be them seals replaced. So same thing. I put on a socket. And I'm just gonna do here. This little one here. I hope you can see. Can I see what you can see? I hope you can see. 
bit more. Just tap it, make sure it goes down a little bit. Nope. That's the thing, when you release the socket a little bit, it seems to get off the thing and try to be different. Okay, one second. Seals are new so they can have a little play in it. Until you get it right, it's not a big deal. I'll try to keep that socket pressed a little bit harder. Make sure it goes in nicely in all directions. I think now it should be alright. Yeah, perfect. Well done. Well job done properly. Now, all my seals and all my injector holes, seals protecting injector is done. What we're going to be doing now, we're going to be changing these copper washers on injectors. Okay, so to remove copper washer, normally we just come off like this. If it doesn't want to come off, you can use this kind of stuff, just to kind of grab on the sides of it and remove it. So that's my old injector. Ideally you want to tidy this place up. Something. It's tidy enough for me. What I'm going to do next, is I'm going to grab new injector seal. So hurry up, I think my time is running out. Ooh. Okay, right, new injector seal, new copper washer. One side is a bit bended, as you can see, one side is a bit bended, one side is totally flat. The flat side, that's the side which is gonna go next to injector, like this. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some grease, just put a tiny bit of grease here, make sure my new seal, my new copper washer, sticks to my injector so that it wouldn't fall off once I land it into an injector hole. Right, so I got a bit of grease. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of grease here. So my new seal sticks onto it and it wouldn't let go. Okay, perfect. Flat side towards injector, tiny bit rounded side towards the hole. And we are gonna have to, first before we land injector in, we have to put one of these in. So that's gonna come as well, the new seals like this. We just put it on, on the injector, like this. Okay, so you put that here, and you're ready to land your injector into a hole which is ready for it. So now, I started from this side. My injector seal is in a place. Everything is alright. That's it. So now, it's just gonna tie up with a... It's just gonna tie up with a nut. And then, there'll be injector in place. I'm gonna do the same thing now on all three other injectors. Okay, so now, I have done the same thing to my hole four injectors as you can see they sit a bit higher because of all the new seals that's gonna change once obviously we're gonna once we're gonna start to tighten them up and stuff they're gonna start to go down a little bit and that's not a problem at all that's just how it is usually mm, what we're gonna be doing next is we need to kind of push push these fuel lines back onto the front like this and we're gonna be keeping them there while we put a nuts on our injectors so the first thing i want to do is i want to grab something like this take each injector nut and land it onto the bolt where it belongs to that's the best way so you wouldn't lose it somewhere on the way Okay, we're gonna land each bolt onto the right place. That's the easiest way. A 
like as you see they do drop I was lucky to get it but they do drop quite easily just an extra headache to find them after okay so all my all my injector tightening up nuts are now in place to be tightened up just a tiny tiny little bit right guys um, what I've done now I've just literally I thought I'm filming but apparently I wasn't so what I've done I just pulled, pulled these bad boys fuel supply things up here I just pulled them up a little bit I took the nuts and I tied them up with uh, size 14 millimeter spanner I just tied them all up so now I have my fuel supply in the place and my injectors are still a bit loose so what I want to do next I want to tie up all these little nuts so So you need to do every single one of them as you see me doing. Okay, so my injector seals are all nicely done. And the injectors are back in a place. Nuts has been tightened up. What you wanna do next is you wanna replace the rocket cover gasket. So to replace rocket cover gasket, just literally have to take the old gasket out like this. Just comes off. And then don't really need to tidy up nothing much here or wherever just leave it like it is you literally just take new rocket cover gasket and the new rocket cover gasket already has a shape so you just have to literally match up the shape and put a new rocket cover gasket in a place And you don't need to do nothing else. These rocket cover gaskets, they are self-seal rocket cover gaskets. And the only thing you need to do is just literally to put rocket cover back into a place and tie up um, equally all of the eight millimeter bolts around it. That's all you need to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing now is literally removing this one we don't need this cover anymore make sure the surface is nice and there's no you haven't made any scratches or something or whatever but it wouldn't make any difference much anyway what we need to do now is literally nicely nicely place our rocket cover rocket cover into the same position it was like a when we started this job and we're going to be using same eight millimeter bolts you can put bolts you can prepare yourself by putting a bolts in the holes but you don't need to tighten up yet when you have all the bolts in a correct in a correct hole so I just dropped one bolt I'm gonna have to find that it happens when you have all the bolts in the correct holes you just need to nice and nicely evenly tighten it all the bolts up to make sure that the rocket cover gasket is nicely pressed equally onto the surface so what i'm going to be doing next i'm just going to be nice and evenly 
tighten up probably with hand first all them eight millimeter bolts okay so you're not doing one up just until you can try to do like evenly okay so once all your eight millimeter bolts around your rocket rocker cover gasket rocker cover is all nice and tight what you want to do next is you want to you want to place this piece of air intake manifold back into the place so we're going to do that now so what you want to do when you take it like this, you want to first stick stick that bit in. Make sure it goes in nicely. Then it kind of twists. And when it twists, it clips onto the other bolt here. Then you can put your intercooler hose on. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put bolt in here to keep it nice and tight for me so I hope you can see these gloves doesn't really let me, let me show you properly okay yeah you should be able to see so I have a bolt here and I'm just basically gonna put it through here to this side make sure it comes out for the other side I'm just gonna tie up with a bolt this is not original bolt but nevertheless it's gonna do the job as you can see here that's how it looks like I'm just gonna tie it up now to keep this all nice in place okay so I tied up my bolt here with my knot what I want to do is I want to just tighten up this intercooler hose make sure it's all nice and tight we don't come up or anything that looks all good what we're going to be doing next we're going to be changing a little o-rings on our fuel return leak off fuel leak off connectors okay so to take off your leak off connector o-rings what you have to do is you have to remove these little green o-rings here they're a bit headache to remove sometimes but we have to change them what we want to do is just to use a screwdriver or something just to kind of push them off and here we go slowly slowly they're coming off really hard to take them off like this but here they are we're coming off and we just clean up the connectors and I hope you can see what I'm doing here okay so I removed the old seals all ordering seals. And to apply the new ones, I'm gonna take my gloves off and they are flying away. Right. So to apply the new ones, all you have to do is just take a connector and literally push the seal on the connector so that would be 
nicely in a place just like that here we go okay so we have one more and last one to do and now we can push the connectors into the places okay there we go so all the connectors back in the places now and you're gonna have to secure them with these little clips literally by pressing the clips in in here hope you can see and I have another one which is here so just clip all the connectors in a place to make sure they don't they don't come out there we go so all the fuel return connectors are back into the injectors what you can do next is I have just pushed this one back on top make sure it's nice and cozy there and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be taking all this again and we're gonna be connecting all our connectors back onto the injectors so this thing goes into place nicely like this this goes goes on top of there stays there then you can connect your connectors of your injectors there we go so your injectors are now connected what you want to do next is you want to use those hex bolts and just secure all this little loom nicely in place with a five millimeter hex key one second i'm just gonna put my camera away i'm gonna do that just like this plug your mass airflow sensor back in and another bolt here And one last one you remember is a bit hidden, it's just here. So we're gonna do our one as well. Just now. I hope it's in place. Let me just have a look. Maybe it's not in place as much as I would like it to be. Okay, all bolts are done now. So the only thing you have left now is to literally just put your air intake back on. So for in my case, it's quite easy because always make sure this seal here is not is not ripped before you put it back on a turbo. Now one just pushes on nicely. I need to still do a lot of things on this engine, including resorting out all the air intake system and removing a shield as a shield in a car is quite rattly around the dpf and turbo so i need to probably remove it because it makes horrible rattling sound but the main thing is today's video was about injector seals 
and we have done them now uh, so what we want to do we want to connect the battery back on just do positive first and then we're going to do our negative and tighten it up okay this is all nice and done um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful it's not my best video ever but end of the day i am on a hurry i need to go places so i try to do just a quick job and show you the basics of how it's done um yeah if you can subscribe my channel comment below if you think i should have done something different or if you like a video and you found it useful and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching matt for french cars